I'm in my garage. Hey y'all. Uh, so that was a Selena movie reference. If you've never seen the movie Selena, she goes, um, they pull the bumper off this guy's car and he goes, I'm gonna put that on the wall of my garage. Selena's bumper or something like that. So anyway, fun fact for you. I'm on my way to go get a hot chocolate. So Marvin put the alarm on this morning because um, we have a alarm and cameras and all that stuff we've got installed. He turned on the alarm, but he turned it on to where like, oh, you have like so long to exit the house and it goes, deep, 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 deep. And it's like, mm. so anyway, the cats kind of are like, what's going on? And also uh, woke me up. So I'm gonna tell, hey babe, next time just do the other alarm where it doesn't count down, like we can do it on our phone, like I'm doing now. So the cats will hear a, a beep thing, but they're not gonna hear the beep, 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 beep. So <clears throat> alarm is now armed. Yay for technology. And <coughs> I'm gonna head. Like I just said, I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate. I'm also gonna go get gas because I just, see, fuel is low. Would you like to search for a nearby gas station? Sure. Doesn't say how many miles I have left. I guess I could change it to show me how many. Show me, show me the money. Show me how many miles I have left, but that's for another day. Let's shut the garage, shall we? Spectrum forgot to do the line bury the line and um, it had been a while and enough time for them to do it and so um, I was like Marvin didn't have much to do yesterday I said why don't you call Spectrum and find out they forgot so basically they forgot hmm. also the people in the lot next to us need to cut their grass it's a code violation like they really need to cut their grass but, okay, so now, this is gonna get crazy, it's gonna get bumpy, it's gonna fall. That's on thumb now. Gonna get that hot chocolate life started. Okay, I just had this interesting conversation with the barista, and I want y'all's thoughts. I'm also gonna put it on Instagram, but by the time you see this, it'll probably be long gone from Instagram. So, here's my question. Here's my question. What kind of drink if you didn't know me, what kind of drink do you think I would order at a coffee shop? Because I walked up and a girl's like, I'm like, oh, you're waiting for me, sorry. And she goes, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your drink. I said, no, it's a, it's okay. I said, um, I, I just was you know, thinking in my own world too. And I said, well, what kind of drink do you think I'd get? And she said, oh, I thought you were gonna get a triple mocha um, frappuccino. And I'm like, do I look like a frappuccino kind of person? I guess I do. I do not know. So then, I was talking with all the baristas back there and I'm like, okay, so like she said, um, one of the other girls said, police officers typically get uh, lattes. And then like teachers get frappuccinos, or, or so it seems based on their experience, right? I'm not trying to label you, not trying to box you in, I'm just trying to say. And um, so I just thought like, she says lattes just seem more serious, whereas frappuccinos are just like, a little more fun type thing. And then, so I was asking her like, well, what do you think about Americanos? And she goes, oh, they're serious, especially if they know their milk. Uh, like they want a specific milk in their Americano. And then, anyway, so what do you guys think about that? Like if you didn't know that I love my venti hot chocolate from Starbucks, what would you think? What is in my drawer? Okay, I was like, there's, there's junk in, junk in my trunk. No, there's junk in the thing right here. So, if you didn't know me, what do you think I would get? Do I look like a frappuccino? Do I look like a latte macchiato? Maybe a caramel macchiato. Or maybe a, a an adobe. A, a, an, is it adobe or just dobe? Dopey. I don't even know. I don't even know what it's called. My son gets dopey shots or something. It's like little espresso shots or something. Not espresso, espresso. Anyways, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Hey friends, hey y'all. I'm heading to the storage unit because I feel like I wanna pick up a few items from there and get those taken care of 
because even though it's not early, it's still, I feel like there's, I don't know, I just feel energized a little bit. So I'm thinking, hey, take advantage of that energy, get another box or two put away, straighten up my office a little bit more, and get things settled, you know? Um, just got invited to a an impromptu photo shoot for tomorrow. They're going to be shooting some marketing images for the downtown area and they need some models so of course they thought of me <laughs> just kidding but no for real that's that's why they called me okay when i say they called me for the photo shoot i don't mean like you know their talent person called my manager and booked me for the show i don't mean that i just mean that got an email they said they needed some extra folks for this photo shoot would I be willing to go? I said yes, I would. And so I'm going to go. And they're actually going to buy lunch. Well, it's kind of nice too. A little perk. You know what I'm saying? And it's at a place that I already like. So that's a great thing. Okay, I'm going to take you off of the thing. I still have not bought that. Whatever. If you're watching this and you sell that kind of stuff, send me one. You know what I'm saying? And like a stabilizer so it's not as wobbly all the time. All right, let's go. I don't know if it recorded just now or not, but I'm at the rental place and I'm gonna pull out some more boxes. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to carry, but I wanted to go ahead and bring some of another box or two that would be useful back to the house so that, back to the house, back to reality, no, uh, back to the house so I can get some of this undone because look, <laughs> I've only taken out about six or eight boxes, maybe, maybe a few more, but obviously I could take out a lot more and I'll save the things like there's one with Nick's stuff in it and Nick's stuff is Coca-Cola stuff and I'll save that one. There's one with books in it that I can save till the end or at least closer to the end, but some of the stuff I just really need to get started on and if I don't start pushing myself a little bit harder I'm not going to get it done but in better news I remember guys I was trying to get uh, someone else to take over the HOA because I can't do it and do the other stuff that I want to do I almost killed myself it feels like um, everything started to fall so you know I do that HOA and I'm trying to get rid of not doing it like I don't want to do it anymore and so, Cat is taking, let me see, him. let's see how many messages I have from Cat. Okay, two from Shane, two from Cat, five from my sister. I'm a wanted person. So, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Okay, so I want to get rid of the stuff in here. And I want to be able to, like, stop paying for this. So I'm just going to grab some of the lighter boxes and take them. I'm going to try to take at least two. There's a bunch of empty totes up there and um, don't really need them, but uh, might take a couple home just so I can have space to put like some of the stuff like if, if I need a clear tote for something, I have, I have some up here I don't have to buy anymore. So I'm going to take those home or at least a few of those home and at least two to three boxes. So got to get this done gotta get 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 it and I gotta answer all these texts let's see what they're talking about stuff legit crushed down <laughs> not really on me it's just plastic totes but still it totes could have been a lot worse um everything here is pretty much heavier and so I'm gonna need Marvin's truck I think I think there are some boxes that I could move but I really kind of need Marvin's truck just to make it easier to get the stuff out. So, okay, well, now I'm gonna head to the Casa, the Casa de Gris, the gray house. Doesn't it sound like somebody's in here? Good thing I'm by the door. Here I'm sitting in my hot car and my hot car. Turn on the air. But I need to review the 
receipt because Marvin has asked me to. And I don't know. 449 Jack Lance. Yeah. I think it's right. <laughs> That's the extent of me looking at it. I mean, it looks that right. I don't know. I didn't add up in my head how much it should have been, which would have been smart. I just was like, okay, because they had this sale. It's buy four, get it at this price. So you have to buy in increments of four. So I bought, for example, four t uh, four tied laundry soaps. So that's four. They should all be the sale price. And then I bought um, three Oreos, one cake mix. I bought and, but that's four things so that's four things that's four things that should have been whatever it should have been so hopefully it's right hopefully if not then i guess i'll come up here tomorrow and tell him i don't know he he will come up here he would come up here for like a dollar and like watching that money for us making it work harder and like I was going to say, making it work smarter and harder for us. So, anyway, okay. Heading out of the parking lot, so got to go by. Hey, y'all. I need to put on some mascara, but I didn't end yesterday's vlog, so I'm going to end it now, and then I'm going to start today's vlog. I did have... I'm going to tell you that later. You'll have to you'll have to tune into tomorrow's vlog, okay? I hope you have a great day. Be kind. See you tomorrow. Bye.